Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be doing a very chill chit chat get ready with me and we're just gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna to try to just make this as simple as possible. And I feel like we've got some, some stuff going on in the beauty community. So I wanna hear your guys' thoughts and uh, just see where y'all are at. So first of all, today I'm going to be doing a look with my BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette. You guys may remember this. I really like this palette. It's from BH Cosmetics. I do believe it was discontinued, but it is what it is. For foundation, I'm mixing together my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. Actually, I do this all the time. I was gonna put this pore filler on. This is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I almost couldn't talk. I have been using this between my eyes where I'm getting like the W right there. And it, I feel like it's been kind of smoothing it out a little so it doesn't sink into those lines as much. And then I've been using it a tiny bit right here. So I'm going to throw that in really quick. So I have been mixing two foundations just color wise at what it's what is working the best. I need to make some purchases but truth be told I spent all my extra money on my son's birthday so... I'm going to be saving up to get some extra stuff, which would be basically, I want to go back to, I think, the Milani foundation. And I also have been wanting to try some of the new Pacifica stuff. So that's kind of what's on my wish list, if you will. I've also been working on expanding my wardrobe, so that's mainly what I've been spending money on instead of makeup. So I've been really trying to focus on using up what I have. I have not repurchased my Pacifica powder, even though I do really like that and I do plan on repurchasing it. It's just again, me trying to just use what I've got and, uh, you know, <laughs> not let it all go to waste. I think it's easy to just get caught up in all the new and fabulous releases and so I want to make sure that I give love to things I have, which is one of the reasons why I like to do this where I switch through my palettes. Let's see, I'm gonna do some concealer. This is the e.l.f. Maximum Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade Porcelain. So today's been kind of a, I wouldn't say it's like super stressful day because I assumed everything would be okay, but still kind of crazy. This morning when I was playing with Stevie, he's my white rabbit. And for those of you who don't know, I have two rabbits. I have a white New Zealand white, who is a, a larger rabbit. And then I have a smaller black rabbit that is a Never, Neverland dwarf, Netherland, Netherland dwarf. So I have two rabbits and they are indoor rabbits. Holding Stevie this morning and I noticed he had like a little sore on the top of his head. Of course, that's never anything that's ever happened before. So I was like, oh my gosh. So. I hurried and got him into the vet and got him checked out and so now he has some antibiotics that I'm going to have to be giving him twice a day so when I go pick him up they're going to explain that to me so hopefully everything goes okay. Poor little guy. Oh, so <laughs> I know everyone's kind of tired of hearing about the whole Jaclyn Hill lipsticks thing and I I want to talk about that, but I'm not really a drama channel, so I don't want to talk about the tea because everyone knows it, okay? What I want to talk about is regardless if you feel like Jacqueline knew beforehand or not, because really no one knows what someone's intentions were. No one can say for sure without a mat, you know, a shadow of a doubt unless they had some sort of proof. I'm going to use this. This is the... Bronze and Pink Beige Cream Contour and Blush from e.l.f. You know, that, that she knew. Is it probable she knew? Yeah, it is probable. I, I, don't, I just don't know. I just don't know. So, I, uh, knowing what you know about the situation, and if you don't know briefly, she released a line of lipsticks and they've come back with contaminants in them, basically. Um... If you haven't seen Raw Beauty's Christie's Raw Beauty Christie's video, I highly recommend you watch that because she goes in depth and by in depth I mean with a microscope. Is how she's handling this? Does it change your opinion? Um, 
are you subscribed to her currently? Are you going to stay subscribed to her? Is this the type of thing that would make you unsubscribe from someone? I'm just curious, like, okay, so we know what's happened. You know, we know that all of this has gone down. So now what? Like, what, what does this mean? You know, like, I personally feel like, whew, that was a lot of blush. I personally think that the product should all be recalled. I mean, of course, that would seem the most obvious choice for safety. Um, but, you know, I'm not the one with the money at risk, so I don't know if she's going to see it that way. Um, apparently her statement to one of the press that picked it up was like less than 0.1% or 1% or like a very small amount. And I was like, okay, I even had my personal friend who ordered them message me videos and pictures of her lipsticks that she bought. Like I know this person and they had like hair and all this stuff and dots and stuff on them. So I don't think it's a small percentage as people are thinking. Um... I'm not really a Jacqueline fan per se. She's had a lot of drama recently, but she's been kind of one of those people that I've stayed subscribed to because I'm just kind of like, I want to see what happens. You know, kind of interesting, public figure, you know, just kind of curious. But I don't know. At this point, I'm like, do I want to stay subscribed? Will this incident make me unsubscribed? If you are subscribed to her, would it make you unsubscribed? Have you already unsubscribed because of things in the past? Have you never been subscribed to her? I mean, when she goes into like her in-depth tutorial, she does a really good job. There's just so much drama. I mean, <laughs> there just really, really, really is so much drama. So that was my first thing. My second comment about the situation is, does this make you, I guess, second guess or reevaluate what makeup you're currently like owning, what is already in your makeup collection and the condition of it. Like, is this gonna make you more picky after seeing stuff like under a microscope, which is what Raw Beauty Christie did. Um, and I'm sure there's others who have done that as well if I didn't mention them. Is it going to make you change your thoughts and how much you're purchasing and how much you're using, how long you're gonna use a lipstick? I just, I feel like there's like conversation to be had as far as like, expiration and I'm feeling like okay I know there's some lipsticks that I have that are probably too old that I know I need to get rid of but you know they seem okay but are they really okay it's just it's just it's just hard and I think when you purchase a lot of makeup it's hard to feel like that is going to waste by just throwing it out I, I hear you I feel you um, but when it's a matter of having like mold and safety issues, you know, <laughs> kind of a big deal. So my kids are doing something over there. They keep like sneaking in and like trying to be quiet, but <laughs> not being quiet. I see a little miss. She's just like peeking over her dresser. Like it's part of the fun of having all my kids home for summer is that they're Hello. always here. You're home. You're home. Yes, you are all home. Um, are you allowed to play Minecraft? Well, let's see. Did you do your reading? No, I'm doing my well, I did my math, but I haven't done my math. Okay, then you math. need to bring your math page up so I can correct it, and then. But I haven't done my math. Okay, do your math. But I don't know I which one coins. I do. Okay, well bring your page up here, and I will help you pick one. Okay, do you want me to set a timer? Um. Okay, I'll read my book. No. Nope. Um. Tell me when the minutes are done. I will. And I guess the last thing I want to say is, now watching how other brands have react, does that make you more likely to purchase them, less likely to purchase from them? I'm just interested. I know Marlena from Makeup Geek got really involved, had her opinions, which I mean, granted, she has experience in that. How does that make you feel? Like, I'm just like curious. I'm just curious on how, like not like the drama channel people that are like loving the drama, but just how like, you know, us regular folk feel about this. I just find it crazy. I find it honestly disgusting. I don't know how that could happen. I, it's just all the emotions, all the emotions. I don't know. Um, so yeah, enough about that. Just share down below what you guys think. I'm just curious on what your thoughts are. And let's see, oh, I was gonna tell you guys, so, I got hacked on one of my Instagrams. So 
before today I've had two Instagrams and one was for my beauty channel. It had been majorly neglected. I hadn't posted a ton on there besides a few makeup looks and a few outfits. So, I mean, it was not a real active Instagram account. And then I had my fitness account, which was very active. So one day I woke up and I was on my Instagram and I was on my fitness Instagram and I started scrolling through my feed and I started liking pictures and they would unlike. And I'm like, that's really weird. And then like, it wouldn't refresh the new pictures. And I was like, okay, um, what's going on? It wouldn't let me like watch stories. And I was like, this is weird. Like something is glitching. And so I un, you know, uh, signed out and then I just signed back in thinking, okay, that'll fix it. So then like I try to sign back in it will, it's like, cannot sign in. I'm like, um, what? So then, you know, I'm trying like my best to sign in. And basically when I looked at my page from like my other account, it looked like my page had blocked people. So if you had gone to my page, it just looked like you could see my page. If you had like a link where you'd like tag me or something, I don't know if I was actually searchable, but if you had a link to my page, you could go and it would just show like Amberlynn fit. And then it would just look like I hadn't posted anything or you'd been blocked. I'm like, what? You know, so at first I'm like, am I hacked? Like, what is happening? And I was just kind of freaking out. So I just jumped on my Amber's Beauty um, account, which if you guys follow me, you probably saw that. And I was just like, hey, this is what's happening and blah, blah, blah. And then um, I got a lot of good advice on how to get my account back. And the main thing was I was concerned about is there were so many people on that account that I had like made friends with and like talked to. And I was like, man, it's just gonna seem like I blocked them. <laughs> Like, can you imagine if we had become like kind of friends and you were following me and then one day like oh, i haven't seen ever post in, in a while and then you go to my page and it just looks like you're blocked like to me that was upsetting because i was like oh my gosh like i don't want i don't, don't want that to happen so i was pretty upset and i i didn't know if i was going to be able to get it back this is like the pinky sparkly shade I didn't know if I was going to get it back or not and so I was just trying to make the best of it and I was like well if all it fails I'll just convert this other account over. Well I ended up being able to get the account back. What I had to do was is I just had to submit a form and then they made me take a picture of me and put like my first and last name and then they had this number I had up right on this piece of paper and I sent it to them and then they approved it. And it actually was pretty quick for me and you know honestly I don't know what happened. I, I think it was hacked, but I had no notification. Like, I have like signed in on a new phone or something and it's like someone near blah, 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 is trying to access your account. Like, I always get the email notifications, all that kind of stuff, nothing. I never got, um, I never got a notification email from Instagram saying your account is being suspended or you're being blocked because of this, like nothing. Like, nothing happened. I'm like, I have fallen into a glitch in the matrix. Like, what happened? So. I, I, I'm not sure. I still don't know. And then I got an email from Facebook, you know, because they're like linked and they're just like, oh, sorry for the inconvenience. Here's your account. So a couple things though, like I was really happy to get my account back so I could explain to everyone what happened and why I'd been gone for a couple of days. But I also realized like, man, it is really nice just having one account. <laughs> and I had missed my other account. And I, when I started posting, I realized there were so many of you guys that followed me there that I'd miss interacting with that, you know, I just was like, man, I miss this, but I feel like I was having a hard time doing both. I've been neglecting my channel. I've been neglecting my other Instagram. And I was just like, you know, this is becoming just too much. Like I can't do both of this really well. And these are both parts of my life. And at first, you know, my beauty Instagram, I did a lot of like flat lays and like pictures and swatches and things because that was really what was in at the time. And now I feel like I've kind of gotten away from that. And I was just posting makeup looks and then it was more just like a chat, like a page for my channel, just like posting about the videos I was making and stuff. And honestly, like most of the people who follow that page follow my channel. So they want to just know what, what I'm doing, what's going on, that kind of thing. And then I found my Instagram page for my fitness. You know, it started out mostly fitness and then I started posting about my family and stuff like that. So I felt like essentially I had grown both accounts. I think my Amber's Beauty at one point had like over 3,000 followers, but because I neglected it, I lost a ton, which I understand. 
but they both had close to 2,000 followers, and I'm like, they're almost posting the same, like, same content, like, me and my family and my kids, this one has a little bit more food and a few more workouts, this one has a little bit more about my beauty products, but, like, fashion kind of was ending up on both, and then, you know, there were certain things that I was like, oh, this is a really great thing for when you're working out, but it has to do with hair, and, uh, it just ended up being too much of the same where it was kind of confusing and then I didn't want to post this on my other page because I already posted on this page and then people who followed me on both would get double content and I was like, this makes no sense. What am I even doing? So I made the decision to combine them. So my Instagram is no longer Amber's Beauty or Amberlyn Fit. I actually have one Instagram account that's called biceps dot and dot beauty and i'm really excited about it so it's basically combining just it's a lifestyle account it's combining my love of fitness and my love of beauty and i'm doing some of both and i'm really happy about it so essentially i like i feel good about my decision i feel like i've made the right choice i feel like it's been easier it's been a little hard i haven't quite caught up like followed all my people from my other page and like notified everyone i mean there's some people that could have missed that post that I made and don't know what happened to me. So I want to like DM people that I know really liked my page and be like, hey, I've moved over, but it's just taken a while to like create the content and to like make the name and all that stuff. It's just taken me longer than I thought that it would, honestly. It's kind of embarrassing how long I spent. Um, my good friend, she is Compassionate Beauty here on YouTube or Pain Free Beauty on Instagram. She's like my friend in real life as well as like on online and I was like sending her some pictures and like letting her kind of help me decide and um like help with my name and stuff because there's so many name ideas out there and then there's so many names that are taken so I was trying to find something that I feel like would work good for me so that's what I settled on so yeah I've been happy about that so it was weird because like getting hacked ended up being like a blessing in disguise because I realized how much easier it was just to run one account and so, yeah, that's my story. <laughs> and I am adjusting to summer. You can tell it's been a little crazy because my kids are here, but I'm learning to roll with it. So the other kind of cool announcement I have is that you know that we moved here um, for my husband's job. And, you know, he really loved his job, but if you guys have followed around my journey, you know that my husband has PCS, which is post-concussion syndrome, and he was in a car accident, and, you know, he's had this huge, long journey and stuff. Anyway, the bottom line is, is his job required so many hours. Like, he worked ridiculous hours, like 70 hours a week, and that's not exaggerating. Like, leaving at 8 or 9 in the morning, well, 8, getting to work by 8 or 9 in the morning. And then it's an hour commute, and not getting home till like, 11 o'clock at night because he'd have a meeting that went till 9, and it was 2 hours away, and then he had to drive home. Like, crazy. So... It was just so much on him. So he ended up um, switching jobs and he found another job here. Um, of course, we considered moving back to Utah, but we do really like it here. And ultimately the opportunity we got ended up being here. So that's where we are. Plus we weren't really ready to turn around and sell our houses again, because can I just tell you, living in the South is much more affordable than living in Utah. Living in Utah is freaking expensive. Like our little house, we, you know, only moved a year ago, I'm sure it's already gone up in value like 30 or 40,000 and it's not even a big house. So, I mean, it's just crazy. Anyway, let me get some lip stuff on and we will call this a day. So I'm going to be doing Hype from Studio AOA Shop Masse. So those are all of my life updates. And let's see, let's see if I can talk and put on liquid lipstick. Hmm. But yeah, we're just getting into a nice um, summer routine. I think I'm actually going to do like a day in the life thing, like how I mom and do everything in YouTube with three kids. So I think that'd be kind of interesting for those of you who've been interested in like, how do you work out and do this and do this and do YouTube? Like, I figured it would be kind of a fun video. So look for that coming soon. And this is how my finished look turned out. Kind of left it a little sharp and kind of... I guess a little edgy there. I don't know. I think it's fun. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me your comments and opinions down below, and I'll see you guys next time.